Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video, I am going to show you how to use your Chromebook offline. So guys, the first and foremost question is, can we use this Chromebook offline and can we sign in offline? So the answer is a definite yes and you can sign in even when you are not connected to the internet using the same Google account password. So once you sign in, this is how your Chromebook might look. Firstly, you need to install some web apps so that you can work offline. For example, you need to install these applications like Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Calendar, Google Keep, Pocket, Google Photos, which will be gone in few days, but until it is there, you can use it. And Gmail offline, and that's pretty much it. So far as now, I'm able to use these apps offline without any problem. So offline Gmail is a Gmail application which will simply cache all your mails and you will be able to access those mails even offline. So you need to install this application from the Google App Store. Let me just show you how to download it. Simply press the search button on the Chromebook and you'll get this Google Launcher. Simply search for Web Store and you'll get this icon. Select that to open the Google Web Store for Chromebook or Chrome. And from here you can download offline applications. Firstly select Chrome Apps and then select Runs Offline. So these are all the applications that run offline. Next you can download all the applications that I've just said like Google Docs, Google Calendar, Google Keep, Pocket, Photos, Gmail Offline, Wonderlist and Google Drive. So this is Google Drive and it also works offline. Simply press this button over here and go to settings and scroll down a little and you'll see an option that says offline and currently it is enabled. So if it is disabled you need to install this application, come to the website and enable it. Next let's go to Google Docs. We have to do the same thing over here. Go to settings and enable the offline sync. I have already enabled it so it's asking me to turn it off. Simply leave it at that. Coming to Google Calendar, again go to the settings and select this option that says make available offline. I have already done that so you are not able to see that option. So Google Keep is by default offline so you don't need to do anything special just install it and you're good to go. Pocket is a very nice application which will save a web page and you will be able to read these web pages even when you're offline. For example this is a web page that I've saved in my pocket so I can read it even when I'm offline. Also you can simply save web pages by pressing Ctrl S and saving it on the Chromebook and you can read those web pages anytime later. So this is the Google Photos and you can access or you can see the photos even when you're offline. There are even some games like Cut the Rope 2 and Angry Bird which run offline. So you just have to search for those offline apps and download them. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And please subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.